2 p.m. in Melbourne. I don't know what time it is where you're at, but it's the Lunch and Learn with Prosper here from Live Long Digital. I'm assuming that you had a fantastic weekend and you're ready to tackle on the next week coming ahead. Today's topic is something that, um, you know, troubles a lot of people. And we're just going to be talking about the seven problems that are actually facing small businesses in modern online marketing. Now, the reason why I chose this topic is I have had experience in the last four years working with um, small to medium businesses like yourself and coaches and consultants to actually help the market scale and grow their business. All right. So I was just reading from this uh, book, Marketing Strategy um, by Walker. All right. It's one of those off the shelf type books. And it's talking about opportunities, right? Now, every single day, we are exposed to an online opportunity, right? But it says opportunities are as good as the marketing and their business people who will pursue them. Thus, if even if some combination of marketing and industry factors presents an opportunity uh, that's attractive at a first glance, there remains some critical questions. One, does the opportunity fit what you want to do? That's your mission, your aspirations, your passion, and your objectives. And do you have the right resources, right people, right organizational competencies, and other critical success factors necessary to implement your plan successfully? And number three, do you have the right connections and business networks to actually go in with this? In most industries, there are a number of people and critical factors that tend to separate us, the winners, that, that tend to separate the winners and the also ran. Okay, so what this is actually saying is you are being presented every single day with some sort of new and shiny object, new and shiny opportunity. But is it meant for you? Are you the right kind of person to execute on that opportunity? Because the, the end result is I end up working with people that are not passionate about something they're working on or that project or that dropship service they're doing was just an, a means to an end, okay? And they've put in so much money, now they can't get out of it because they're too legit to quit, all right? Now, the goal of every sort of digital marketer and online business owner, I know, it's to get leads and to actually generate revenue um, for your online business. And I assume that will be what your goal is. But are you aligned to the business you're starting? Is it something that you would wake up and really want to do? Or is it something that you were sold onto by somebody who wrote really good copy on a Facebook ad? Because some of the people I was talking to, a very beautiful couple early on in the morning, they've got a website that they've just recently started but it is not aligned whatsoever to who they are as a person to what they want to achieve and where their goals are it just looked like it was going to be an atm for them and now they've spent so much money in it and it's not working for them okay so you really want to look from the get-go whether the business is really aligned to who you are is really aligned to your goals really aligned to your vision and your passion as a person you cannot sell something to anyone that does not re that does not respect you okay so if you have a headache if you've got a headache right now, or if you've got a toothache, would you go to somebody who's a janitor to help you uh, fix that toothache? No, you go to a dentist or you go to a doctor, okay? So that's the, re that's the same thing that people online are also doing. If you've got a shop that's selling things that you're not passionate about, people can tell. You don't have the lingo, you don't have the expertise, and you cannot talk to those people in that particular manner, okay? It's just like myself, opening up a shop and I want to sell dresses. I don't know anything about dresses. I don't know what women wear in winter or if they wear dresses when they go to sleep. I don't know where dresses are worn. So how am I going to connect with the customer and expect them to give me money when I am not passionate about the thing that I'm selling? All right. So half of these things, um, they're self-induced, all right? And so that's the reason why I want to talk about some of the problems that people are facing online. 
one big problem that people are facing is they are not aligned to the products they're selling. And it's not easy to discover or to even see. Have you ever seen somebody who, when you ask them, what do you do? They just send you a page or a link to what they do. No enthusiasm, no explanation, nothing. It's because they're not connected to what they're doing. Okay, every single day I put up a post on my Facebook and I ask people, what are you doing? What, what makes you happy? Christina, thank you so much for tuning in. I ask people, what are you doing? What makes you happy? What's, what's happening in your life? Some people just post a link and they expect me to figure it out on my own. That is not going to work because if you're not passionate about whatever it is you're selling or you're presenting to anyone, who is going to be passionate about it? Okay, because have you ever noticed if you have a baby, because I've got a, a, a little girl. My little girl is the cutest girl in the world, okay, according to me. And she's the cutest in my world. But somebody else might see her and say, what an ugly baby, okay? So if you are not going to present your little girl or your business to people, no one is going to see it in the same light that you see it. Okay, people are now buying on emotion. They never buy on the basis of how cute or nice your logo is. Okay, you might as well go and spend 20,000 on a logo. But if you're not putting in the passion, if you're not talking to people, connecting, creating and relating to everyone that you come across, they're never going to know that you exist. I think you would have seen on my post, um, I put up a, a picture, you know, I like dressing up and saying the problem that a lot of entrepreneurs are facing these days is because nobody knows they exist. Nobody even knows their business exists. It's up to you to bring it out to the masses. It's no longer a situation where you build and they come. All right. You got to bring the people to you so that they can, um, you know, you can have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Okay. So if this is something that you've been struggling with a lot, figure out, are you really, really aligned with your business? Because people can also tell that's the reason why people are not connecting to your business. All right. If you're not in it, no one is going to be in it for you. Okay. And one other thing, one of the problems that is facing a lot of small business uh, people, um, you know, with this whole modern online marketing is their message is not aligned to the market they're sending it to. All right. Your message really has to be aligned to a market that will purchase and buy from you. All those things that will then help you deliver that message, like your Facebook, your website, um, your Instagram, those come in secondary. I'll give you an example. Coca-Cola has been a business for the past hundred years. Okay. What has been their message? Their message has been open happiness, right? Their message has been, we create happiness around your meals or Christmas. Okay, and who is their market? Their market is usually everybody else, but basically families and people that just want to be happy. All right, and you get a Coca Cola. So that message has been pounded up on us right now for the last hundred years. In as much as when you go to third world countries, every soft drink is called a Coca Cola. Every soft drink, no matter what brand it is, even if it's a Pepsi, people would say, Can I buy a Coca Cola? All right, because they have been pounding their message. Now, their market can be anyone else, which is a different product, but you need to specify who your market is. And the media they have been using has been totally different and keeps evolving. They were on newspapers, they were on TV, on radio, on buses, or anything that you can think of that has a Coca Cola advert on it, on billboards, all that stuff. That is the media and it constantly changes. Now, the small business person of today is concentrating on the media. They want to know how to run ads. They want to know how to, you know, have lots of following on Instagram. They want to know how to market their business. But what are you doing? Who are you communicating to and why should they care? That's where a lot of people get it all wrong. They're going in straight for the media. And the media keeps changing. I'll give you a perfect example in this day and age. Right now, we're watching the biggest internet heist we have ever experienced. Facebook is totally ripping off everything Snapchat built. 
Okay, so in the coming years, Snapchat might not be working as a business um, that we knew it as a, as a social media platform. Look, how's it going, man? Cheers for tuning in. You know, so if you're concentrating your business and growing it on Snapchat, while everybody else has been drawn back to Instagram and Facebook, all right, you see where the media, you see, you see how the media is not important. If, if, if businesses were concentrating on advertising on newspapers, people are reading blogs now. If people were concentrating on having, um, you know, commercial slots on TV, people are watching YouTube now. Okay, and if people, if your brand was concentrating on advertising on radio, um, people are listening to podcasts now. So you really want to make sure that your message is set in stone to who that message is going is the market. And if that market can understand that message, whichever media you can use, that can change. So the biggest problem that a lot of small businesses is um, facing is they're starting off with the media, chasing the media, chasing Facebook, chasing, um, you know, your Instagram, chasing Snapchat. Okay, if you manage to grasp Facebook for one day, they're going to come in and change their algorithm and then you're going to go back and learn it again. But you're neglecting what your message is. You're neglecting who your market is. You need to concentrate delivering a message to a market that actually understands you. Market is the person who gives you money. Market is the person who votes for your product. And market is the person who actually raises his wallet and says, you know what, I want more of what you're having here. Take my money. That's the market. The person who actually validates your business. The person who actually says, yes, I want to have more of what you have. How are you connecting to that person? What message are you delivering to them? That's what small businesses do not realize that they should concentrate on. Thank you so much, Alexander. You say good content. I've learned a lot from you, Prosper. Thank you so much. This is so fantastic. Brendan, thanks for tuning in, Brady. It's, it's, it's all good. So if you've got your message delivered to a market, once you've got these two set up, you will realize that you now have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. The media can always fluctuate and change. The media can be your grandmother if you want it to be. Have you ever heard your grandmother talking so much about you when she goes to play bingo or crocheting with the other ladies there? She's media. But you got to give her a message so that she delivers it to a market. All right. Some people are just going in to tell grandma stuff that grandma does not understand. So you need to make sure your message is congruent either on all the you know uh, platforms that you have, your website, your social media. Everything is uniform because you know what? Somebody might get a chance to see your stuff today and they go away and do something else. Right now, look at this. Time is an illusion. In Australia, as we speak, it's 2.15 on a Monday, which means we're already halfway through a business day. While where you are right now, it's, you know, you're going to sleep. All right. So if I put out something, you are going to sleep right now. You'll forget overnight and then tomorrow is your Monday and you've got a whole day st to start off with. Now, if my message is not consistent and if my and, you, and, and if my message is not consistent and congruent, how, what are the chances of you remembering what I've just said now if I don't come back again and reiterate that message? So you need to figure out what exactly you are bringing out to the market so that the market will then reward you with their wallets, their credit cards and everything else that validates your business. OK, because if you're just going to be a one click wonder. You know, you're here today, you're there tomorrow, you're here today, you're there tomorrow, you're doing that, you're doing that. People people get tired of you. And before you know it, you're sitting there and you, you, you've you got more month at the end of your money. And you're doing it all, but you're not realizing that you're not reaching out to anyone. So you want to figure out if your message is particularly set to a market that understands you, that likes you, that will vote for you amongst all the other players in the market, then whatever media you can choose from or you can play around with, that's up to you. 
It depends now. You then go into Facebook ads. You know why? You then just target people that already know, like, and trust you. And your ad spend is not that much. You see what I'm talking about here? When you've already crafted your message and you already have a market that you can now send that message to, um, Facebook ads is a media. You know what I mean? You can then just send whatever you've, you've created through your message. You Maybe it's a blog that you've got a pixel on, half of that pixel, and then just send ads particularly to those people that are on that um, pixel. Those people already know, like, and trust you, and it's a cheaper way to convert. Okay? But other people are just spraying and praying and hoping that something is going to stick. If you've noticed on the market right now, you are actually now getting paid to buy people's books. I don't know if you've seen those ads going around. Here, yeah, I'll give you $20. I'll give you $10 so you can buy this book. You never know what's going on in people's fronts there. But at the end of the day, he's trying to put his message into the market. Now, if your message is not set in stone, you also just be a wondering generality or a one-click wonder. And that's where most of the problems would then stem off from that are facing a lot of small businesses right now because you know what? The message is not in place and their market is not defined. All right? So this is exactly what the Online Prosperity Blueprint is going to teach you guys. We'll help you capture the right kind of person, figure out what pain they have and what payoff they're going to receive and what payoff you will receive. Because if you don't know how much a client is worth to you, it's going to be difficult for you to pay money to get that client. And if you know something, guys, anything that is offered on the market, limited time only, that's as long as it's going to work for a limited time. You don't want to be a limited time only person. You want to make sure that your message is going to a specific market and that market is defined whatever media you're going to use youtube uh, facebook ads or whichever way that will come in secondary because you know why you're going to be speaking to people that exactly want to hear your message you're no longer going to be performing to an empty theater okay so I know it's impossible to survive as a small business person in this modern world, you know, without some sort of online um, strategy. So your strategy really has to come from who you are, what you can provide and who needs it and who you can provide it to. Once you get all those things set, you can, you can, you can use this example with anything. You could be an online store that sells camping gear. All right, that's who you are. You are a camping enthusiast and you're going to be looking for those people that are also camping enthusiasts. Okay, but also within the camping enthusiast, you need to differentiate who exactly your target market is. Because if you're looking for that weekend camper, it's a different message to somebody else who is a gator farmer or who is always out in the woods hunting or a duck shooter or something like that. So you need to figure out who exactly your market is. And once you can talk to them, you can influence them with impact and influence comes income. All right. So you want to really make sure that if there's anything you're going to get out of this talk today, what's your message? Who are you sending that message to? And how are you sending that message? Message, market, media. The media can play around, you can turn, you know, you can do podcasts, you can speak on top of the mountain, you can play drums if you're African, you know, swing pipes, trumpets, that's the media. But what is the message you are delivering and who wants to hear it? Okay, so sometimes people are just concerned about bringing traffic to their website. Of course, people will come, but what are they going to come and get? What are they getting? What are they? What value are you providing into the market? Because you get paid in accordance to the value that you provide. So you're bringing in people to your website. Yes, that's cool. They're coming in. They're coming in. But as soon as they come to that party, are you playing the right kind of music? Do you have the right kind of food for them? Some of them are vegetarian. Some of them are gluten free. And some of them don't even eat anything except ice because they are on a diet. So have you got all of those things set up for them as soon as they come to your party? Do you have strategies enough for them that as soon as they get here, they know where the buffet table is. And from that buffet table, you can um, literally get them to, um, you can literally get them to, um, you know, start, you know, benefiting from your content. 
So half the time, guys, we're not doing enough. We might think we've got a business, but who are we serving? What are we telling them? And how are we reaching out to them? Does that, does that all make sense? In, in as much as, yes, everybody wants to start an online business, but what are you selling? Who needs it? And why should they care? So you got to make sure your, 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 your message is going to a specific market and that market connects through media. So those are the three M's that you need to be specific about as soon as you start your business. Okay. And you need to have a strategy of how you're getting those people receiving your message and why should they actually care? Because you got to let people realize what to want. They're not going to know you exist if, until you go out there and let them know. All right. So you want to type in blueprint so that we can start working together. I put up a post again a little bit earlier so that um, if, if you really want to figure out where you're going, how you're doing this, because we can tell when when nobody's really doing anything online. And I know it's painful. I know it hurts. I've been there. It's not your fault. This whole thing, this whole Internet is, is still too small. Uh, that a lot of people don't realize how to play around with it. And it's not your fault, okay? Some people might just have a clue. Some people might just have an idea. But the principle is still the same. You really need to know what your message is, who the market is, and what the media um, you're going to use uh, to to reach out to them, okay? So just type in Blueprint if you really want to get a close, close up of how I've started creating you know, really good success for people that I actually talk to and really good success for people that actually are working with me. Some of, the, some of my students, guys, ask for this. Some of my students are earning more than the gurus out there. You know why? Because we're not going out looking for the nice, fancy schmancy. We're really harvesting the core principles of marketing. Who or what is your message? Who needs to hear it? And what media are you going to use? If you just play around that realm, guys, I swear to you, you will be, um, you know, reaching the top, um, you know, people that are out there on the market. Anyone can come in and tell you this works, that works, that works. But if your message is not reaching out to a target market, you've lost already. Okay. Imagine somebody, if you're a girl right now, somebody comes in and, and, and wants to sell you a necktie. What are you going to do with it? If you're a guy, somebody comes in and wants to sell you a bra. What are you going to do with it? You know, so that that is, you know, misguided um, marketing messages that are going out out there um, in the, you know, space of the Internet. Then. All right. So either you got to have a strategy or if you don't have a strategy, Invest a lot of time to learn these things, okay? Time investment is, is, is another concern that we see small business owners, um, you know, have, facing problems with. The thing is you have a lot of time, but you're not budgeting it well, all right? You're allowing people to send you emails, and then you look at their emails 24-7. They're putting their agendas in your head, and then you feel overwhelmed, and then you don't do nothing for your own business. Unsubscribe from all that crud. Half of them you don't even open anyway. All right? Just unsubscribe. Focus on who you really want to speak to, what you're going to tell them, and how you're going to reach them. You know? Half, half, the, half of the problem, it stems of not having a focus or not exactly knowing what it is that you're supposed to be doing. If you're meant to be solving problems for people, figure out who exactly needs your service. How can you reach out to them? And what will you tell them as soon as you land in their space? Because people are busy. You know what I mean? Every, every time, look at the what's happening around you right now. You might be watching this, but you're probably watching TV or, you know, your little kid is right in front of you or you just had a sip of water or you're just waiting for your meal to be ready or something is happening. No one is just going to be sitting here and waiting for Prosper's um, live show every single day. And that's what exactly is happening to your work out there in the market. Who are you sending the message to? Why should they care? How are you sending it to them? The how is completely flexible, but you shouldn't compromise on what your message is, what you stand for, and why people should care. 
Who are those people that you're talking to and why should they stop whatever they're doing and listen to you? How you reach them, that's a figure of your imagination. All right? Because some people are just going out there with regurgitated statements, with regurgitated, um, you know, unique propositions. They're not unique. You're not the first person to come up with anything new. People are tired. There's now what is called ad fatigue. That's why your ads are not working right now. You know why? Because people now have trained themselves not to see ads. That sponsored thing that shows on their Facebook, they're tired of that stuff. All right. So I'd urge you, I mean, pick somebody that you want to learn from. Trust an expert because people, people, people like myself, people that have been there have spent their time, money and effort learning these things and they can shortcut your learning curve. OK, buy a course or just really go on Udemy. There's ten dollar courses there or just, you know, look for Ask me, I'll help you out. If you keep doing, you know, you, you can't escape a situation by doing the same, uh, you know, things that got you into that problem in the first place. All right? You can start off by typing in blueprint and I'll give you a bird's eye overview of what this blueprint does. We help you find the right kind of people to send them the right kind of content so you can engage them and convert them. All right. And once you've converted them, you will now connect with them so that you have perpetual business and you get more and more referrals. OK, so a lot of people are just shooting themselves in the foot and worrying about competition because of a scarcity mindset. Figure out where exactly you want to be, figure out exactly what you want to do, who you want to help, and then just go out there and look for that person. Find out how much it will cost you or what a customer is worth to you. Because, because if you don't calculate that, you're not going to be aware if you've actually gotten the right goals that you want for your business. And that's why people keep, you know, trading on water and, and, and spinning their wheels in mud. There is no competition out there. If you've got your own message and your own market, there are no two people who will have the same thing. There is never any competition out there, right? You know, it, 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 it's quite popular to do the same thing. But if you come in with something totally different, because your message is your message. Your market is your market. No two people can be liked at exactly the same time. You know why? Because it's just human nature. You know, and then whichever way you're going to use to reach out to those people, but you got to figure out what are you giving them and why should they care and why should they trust you to work with you? All right. And once you've done that, just show up for those people, guys, because you cannot just be a one click wonder. People want to know that if they've purchased something from you, are you going to be there to help them? Are you going to be there to implement? Are you going to be there to support them? Because if you're not going to be there, then that's why people go elsewhere or you know, there's things that are going on around Facebook or oh, support small businesses and stuff like that. People want to support small businesses, but us as small businesses are not producing enough or showing up enough for them to, to, to have faith in us being there tomorrow. So once you start showing your people, your market, that you're present and you're going to be consistently saying that message, they will bring referrals to you and that then becomes your media. All right. I'm more than happy to help out a few people. If you type in Blueprint, it's a Monday today and maybe a Sunday for you. But you know what? We're here to help you. We really want to see you win at this. And we also have another group of people that are actually getting results and getting somewhere. So if this is something that really, you know, struck a nerve with you, get in touch with me. Let's fix you up. Let's figure out what your message is. Let's figure out who your market is and let's figure out what good media can you use to actually reach out to these people. Otherwise, you're just wasting money right now. Otherwise, you're just wasting time. You know why? Because you're creating something that's not built to last. I'm here to help you create a business that's profitable and enjoyable. It's your choice if you really want that. Figure out what your message is. Figure out what your market is and figure out how you're going to deliver that message there. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you again tomorrow.